Hello and welcome to this brief training concerning CHIA data recipient data use obligations. This training reviews the requirements of all users and holders of CHIA data under the terms of the CHIA data use agreement. This training is provided by the Massachusetts Center for Health Information and Analysis. CHIA is the provider of two data sets, hospital submitted inpatient discharge, emergency room, and outpatient observation data known collectively as case mix data, and of a detailed set of insurance provider submitted claims data known as the All Payer Claims Database, or APCD. This training is designed both to cover the highlights of the data use agreement and to facilitate successful completion of any CHIA data recipient audits. It is directed to the lead researchers of record in their key roles, but is intended to inform the entire organization. Please share this information as necessary and appropriate. But first, we note a few disclaimers. Nothing in this presentation is intended to substitute for the requirements of the data use agreement itself or its supporting documents, which shall be controlling in the event of any conflict. For any questions or concerns, you may contact CHIA for further instruction. Also, nothing in this presentation constitutes legal advice, which would require you to consult with your own organization's legal counsel. CHIA releases its data subject to federal and state privacy laws, state regulations, and best practices. CHIA generally accomplishes this under the provisions of a data use agreement. The need to protect confidential data is well understood in the research community, but the rationale bears additional review in the context of being a good steward of CHIA data. Compliance with the terms of the CHIA data use agreement serves a variety of mutually beneficial purposes. Protection of individual identities and personal health histories is of the utmost importance. Removal of direct identifiers still leaves data subject to sophisticated technical analysis that could allow the re-identification of individuals. Although CHIA removes some individual identifiers from its data, it is still vulnerable to re-identification, particularly when linked with other data sources. Any and all data linkage must be disclosed to and pre-approved by CHIA. Similarly, release or publication of aggregate data without proper cell suppression poses some risks. For obvious reasons, any attempt to re-identify individuals by members of any research team is strictly forbidden by the terms of the data use agreement. By operation of state law and by regulations that govern the agency, CHIA reviews and considers requests by qualified applicants to receive CHIA data, considering all requirements found under our state regulations. After a review process, CHIA determines what data is minimally necessary for each specific and discrete research project or analysis. CHIA data approved for release and use may also incorporate data from other limited sources when approved by CHIA. Based on its legal obligations, CHIA restricts the use and disclosure of CHIA data by each institution it approves to receive CHIA data. CHIA defines and enforces these requirements through the use of its formal data use agreement with the institution approved to receive CHIA data. CHIA is committed to monitoring and enforcement of data use agreement requirements, given the highly sensitive and confidential nature of CHIA data. Any release of CHIA data for a specific research project is incorporated into CHIA's single data use agreement that binds the whole receiving institution. In this way, the obligations under the data use agreement are the shared responsibility of both the institution itself and every member of the research team having access to CHIA data, as well as technical staff who could have access to that CHIA data. Under the CHIA data use agreement, each approved project must be kept separate from any other approved CHIA projects and not shared or intermingled. CHIA data must only be used for the approved project and not for any other project without prior approval by CHIA. Each project may link CHIA data, if at all, only to the data sources which are specifically described and identified in the approved CHIA data application. The principal investigator of each approved CHIA data application must also ensure that no individual receives access to CHIA data without first completing the CHIA confidentiality agreement in the form provided with the data use agreement. 
the data on which each individual's confidentiality agreement is signed must be maintained in the data access log. Although CHIA does not require its data recipients to use a specific form or format when maintaining a data access log or data inventory log, the following example may be useful as a guide for compliance purposes. This simple spreadsheet, if maintained in a timely and complete manner, would capture the information needed under the CHIA data use agreement. These slides provide a sample format for a CHIA data access log. Another requirement for any institution or individual receiving CHIA data is the clear understanding that CHIA data may not be used in any manner that seeks to ascertain the identity of an individual. Your institution and your research team is fully responsible to make certain that CHIA data is not used to identify individuals with the data. Additionally, because there is the risk of re-identification of individuals when project data is released, the CHIA data use agreement puts very specific restrictions on what data or data derivatives or data extracts may be released. Aggregate data may be released, but only if it meets cell size restrictions set forth in the data use agreement. Merely making CHIA data de-identified, whether to the HIPAA standard or otherwise, does not always mean the CHIA data may be disclosed. The data custodian identified in the data management plan has defined responsibilities that require ongoing compliance. These responsibilities include, but are not limited to, maintaining appropriate administrative, physical, and technical safeguards to prevent unauthorized data use or access, and to protect the confidentiality of all CHIA data. Lead researchers and their research teams need to coordinate data protection activity with the data custodian. The security and integrity of CHIA data is protected by the representations made in the approved data management plan, or DMP, provided by the institution receiving CHIA data. Under a single data use agreement, there may be only one data management plan, or there may be multiple project-specific data management plans. The data management plan describes how the institution will hold CHIA data. The DUA requires that CHIA data not be moved to a different location or server or environment within an institution than is specified in the data management plan without first receiving CHIA approval. Similarly, data may, be, may not be moved from one institution to another without prior CHIA written approval, which would include a replacement data management plan. This is a known risk that should be attended to in all cases, but particularly those involving research conducted by graduate students who may change academic institutions. Another important provision of the data, manage, of the data use agreement requires that any CHIA data prior to being reduced to an aggregate and cell suppressed format may not be transmitted or moved in an insecure manner. If the means of transfer or movement are not specifically permitted in the approved data management plan, Written permission to use that means is required in advance from CHIA. It is the responsibility of the institution and of each research team to ensure that CHIA data for any project is used, stored, transmitted, accessed, and ultimately destroyed in full compliance with the terms of the applicable data management plan. Each research team should ensure that its institution security and IT staff understand their responsibilities under the DUA and under the data management plan. Although CHIA is neither a covered entity nor a business associate under federal HIPAA regulations, CHIA data release process seeks to be fully compliant with HIPAA standards. As such, CHIA data when released is considered to be a limited data set. CHIA data recipients are expected to be familiar with the HIPAA data use principles and to use CHIA data consistent with such principles including the minimum necessary rule. In order to ascertain compliance with the terms of its data use agreement, CHIA reserves certain enforcement privileges in the data use agreement, among them the right to audit each data recipient. In addition to full audits, CHIA conducts less formal but still significant routine annual audits for all or most of its data users. 
Failure to respond to these CHIA data recipient audit requests in a timely manner may result in further action against the receiving institution. When CHIA is aware of any violation of its data use agreement, CHIA may take enforcement action, which, it's deem which it deems reasonable and necessary in order to protect the confidentiality of CHIA data held by data recipients. Such action may include, but is not limited to, requests for additional protective measures, requests for formal corrective action plans, and or root cause analyses. And in some instances, the destruction of CHIA data and prohibition of further use or release. When violations of the CHIA data use agreement are known or suspected, CHIA may involve the institution's research administration or executive personnel. As CHIA releases data to and maintains its data use agreement with the institution, it seeks compliance by the entire institution and not merely with specific research teams or individuals. This training module is intended as a brief and necessarily incomplete refresher opportunity to remind users and holders of CHIA data of important obligations relating to CHIA data. It is not intended as legal advice. It is not a substitute for full understanding of and compliance with the terms of your institution's data use agreement and data management plans executed with CHIA. If, after review within your institution, you have any questions or concerns regarding your institution's data use agreement requirements, please contact the CHIA personnel shown here. The research work that CHIA proudly supports necessarily requires CHIA data recipients to reasonably adhere to legal requirements for each approved data project. Through training, auditing, and the professionalism of each data recipient, CHIA hopes and expects that important research work can continue to be informed by the valuable data given in trust to all of us.